In this tutorial, we will show you how to install PHP with Apache. First of all, open up any browser and log on to windows.php.net. Once the web page loads, move to the download section. Over here, scroll down and move to the archive section. Now you will need to download the application according to your system. Since we are running a 32-bit operating system here, we will search for and download the php-5.3.5-win32-vc6-x86.msi file. Once the download is complete, simply double-click on it to open up the installation wizard. With that done, the installation wizard splash screen will appear. Simply click on Next to continue with the process. Next, you will need to agree to the terms in the license agreement, and with that done, you can move on to the next step. Over here, you will need to set the path for the installation. Over here, we will simply keep the path C forward slash PHP and move on to the next step. Next, you will need to select the web server. Over here, we will select the Apache 2.2 X module. With that done, we can move on to the next step. Now we will be required to set the path for the server. Over here, let's keep it simple and define the path as C forward slash Apache forward slash conf. With that done, simply click on install in the next step and the installation will continue automatically. Once the installation is complete, we will have to load the PHP module for Apache 2x server. For that, access the conf directory and open up the httpd.conf file using Notepad. At the bottom of the configuration file, find the text PHP LNI DIR quotation marks. In the middle of those quotes, type the location where you have installed PHP. For example, in this case, it will be C forward slash PHP. In the next line, notice that no path is defined for the PHP 5 Apache 2 underscore 2 dot DLL file. Over here, we will add the same path as we did before. So before the file name, add the path c forward slash php and save the changes made. Now let's use the shortcut key Windows key R to open up the run command. Over here, type services.msc to open up the services window. Move to the pane toward the right side of the screen and restart the service. This is so the changes made earlier can take effect. With that done, move to the htdocs directory and over here, create a new text file named phpinfo.txt. Open up the file and type less than question mark php php info open parentheses close parentheses semicolon question mark greater than. With that done, save the file as php info.php. This file will basically help you to easily view information about your server. With that done, open up the browser, type localhost slash php info.php in the address bar above and hit enter. This page will show you all the information you need about the current PHP version installed. 